is going on guys i am back from vacation there's been like a two week period where i have not done any videos no hauls no weekly builds but that is all going to change hopefully i'll be able to do a haul video this saturday i did kind of cease all orders before i left that way i wouldn't have just random stuff coming while i wasn't here um i should be getting a pretty big order in it won't be anything but support pieces which comes to one of the things i need to talk about I have uh, kind of went away from ordering what I need. I've been ordering stuff for the, the castle walls and the stuff for the sand, the stuff for the dirt, all that, and I need to stop. Um, I need to quit doing that right now and I need to order just the pieces I need for the slopes because I have to get the slopes done, I have to get the center section done so it can kind of transfer over and just be the the castle being built that way when march comes for that first uh lego convention i have to go to that the castle will be done uh, i'm not really worried about the landscape around it i just need the castle and i need to kind of stop myself from that before i get too far ahead of the game so far i do have like three or four thousand pieces that i've ordered for the brick walls for the castle stuff like that and i need to stop just buying uh just buying stuff like that one of the other things I started doing was buying mini fig parts and which gets kind of pricey and I need to stop doing that. So from here on out, I'm focusing on nothing but the slopes to go on the side of the, the rock walls and all the pieces I need for support. Uh, that will continue to pour in starting sometime this week, hopefully. And you'll see the haul video. You'll see what I get. While I was down at Disney, I didn't even really buy anything. I went to the Lego store. And the only thing I really bought was the little ducks that are in the build and minifigure section. I have bought 15 of them. Um, I might have went overboard, but you will be seeing me include those a little later. In the castle build, I'll be putting them just in the water, stuff like that. Just little places. I, I'm not really sure because technically it's a rubber duck, so I don't, I don't know where I'll put it. But with all that being said, let me kind of show you where I left off. Um, as you know, the last castle video, I did a walk around. I have started working on about three more base plates, maybe four. Uh, I've completed one. The other ones we need to go back and finish. I've just ran out of the pieces that I've been using. I've been trying to use up everything of what I have before I put in orders. That way I kind of don't double order or know that I, you know, what I order more than what I actually need, kind of like I did with the city and just have a bunch of pieces. But the main thing I wanted to show you is what i done with the LEDs. The, the dragon's layer is done. It is complete. It is all jeweled up inside. The only thing I haven't done is put the diamonds. The diamonds will pretty much just be kind of poured inside. So I have not done that yet. And I did order another dragon I will be showing you. Um, it came right before I left. I, I jumped on it because I had not known of its existence until I, you know, I seen it. I ordered it. came don't really like it as much as I like the red one, but now I got two and I will be probably looking at buying possibly another red one here in the near future. But let me show you what I did with all the LEDs. These are the two sections I was talking about. Like I said, they are complete now. The only problem is, is that it's kind of dark on the inside. If you split it open, you can kind of see a little better of detail. Um, there's a bunch of things inside like the gems and jewels and all that stuff uh, the LEDs do brighten it up but it kind of has to have all the lights off for it to really matter the dragon does fit in there but sadly you do kind of have to set the dragon on one side like like it is separated and then kind of close them in that's why I've thought about buying another dragon leaving that one in here and kind of molding the top to this where it's all one piece that way, uh, kind of do like I did with the entrance. The entrance, both base plates are made together. That way it could just be carried easier and I didn't have to worry about splitting the big section of the entrance of the castle up into multiple base plates. Uh, to do this, I've made it pretty easy. There's some wires sticking out in the back. All you do is put the sections together, plug in the left side to the right side, flip the switch and as you can tell it is lit up it is not very bright um, with the lights on though it definitely gets a little bit darker when I put the dragon in there but like I said it's more for when the lights are off I won't be doing any more LEDs down at the bottom I did joke about putting some in like the cave and a couple of the other sections but I'm not gonna do that just to keep it simple I wanted this to be realistic there might be some more put in in the actual castle there'll be another battery pack hid and I'll be doing things like some fires in rooms and some more of the torches on the walls and stuff like that. But I, I won't go overload with it just because back in that time, there really wasn't light like that. And of course, you know, 
This is the dragon that I had. This is the dragon that I have bought, and I do not like the black one as much as I do the red one. Um, I do still want to have a couple of them out. So like I said, I'll more than likely be buying another one of the red ones. That way I can put him flying up in the air. Um, this thing, when you fold its legs back, put its arms forward, it, it is almost too perfect not to put it flying. The only thing that becomes an issue is there's zero spots on the bottom to attach studs. So I'm going to have to attach some on the feet somehow and hopefully it'll have enough strength in the connection to hold it up. I might have to put a rod or two to hold it, but there will be a dragon flying and it'll more than likely be the red one or a red one. Um, as these are continuing to get knocked out, I will be, like I said, continuing to do videos on these. I'm going to throw this back into the, the assortment over there and show you how it is laid out here in a second and show you the base plates that I just completed uh, or started on and stuff like that, show you where I stopped. I did add a bunch of detail to one of them. I put a, put a boat in a pier. Um, you might have seen that. I, I did go back and add a little more detail to that just to kind of finesse little little things. Um, there will be much more detail added up here and there'll be much more detail added in the grass and stuff once I get to that point But let me go throw these into the section and then I'll show you what's going on with it All right, this is what I was talking about as you could tell I went back and added some more detail around here I did some more with the dock um, I have thrown in the alligator with some shadow around it I will have to come back and add more of the water with this and then the water will continue that way but i'm going to stop worrying about any of that and just kind of complete the the castle foundation get all the all the stuff down here laid out this will be last just because it'll be nine base plates that are copied um i have been building around this area as you could tell i started this one so right now the only thing i need is five more walls going this way and then this one being done Right here, I kind of want to challenge myself and make the castle go all the way down to the rock and have it where it's round, but uh, I'm trying to play with that to see how that's going to work out and if that's even possible to do in the small section that I have. I'll definitely be adding some curved walls up here on the castle in places, but it might not be that back corner. But like I said, as you can tell, we are, we are chugging along. I have another boat right here that is going to be added along this, and then of course the the arch to get in but you'll see all that to come we got to get this knocked out first and then get some castle going with all that being said i would like to thank you for watching like i said look out saturday for maybe a haul video but next week it'll definitely be back to the normal schedule i'll have a uh, castle video coming monday and a haul video coming saturdays i uh, just have to like i said play catch up on some things um i pretty much ran out of the pieces i need so one of the things I did was just kind of start this base plate, start this base plate, and start this base plate. You've seen that when I showed you the, the overall build. And because of that, I haven't really been doing anything with the GoPro. Um, none of the time lapses are going, showing what I've been building. But next week after this order comes in, it will be going back to that. And I will be kind of uh, throwing more time lapses in there and explaining some things right now. I don't have too much to explain just because it's rock wall. I, I would like to show you why I do things, but I'm just really winging everything right now, making the making the slopes um, kind of angle up and show the rock effect. Uh, I will try a little more techniques you heard me talk about when I, on the overview, but as of right now, it's going to be kind of boring. I, I have to get this knocked out and then the supports, and then then I can show you the cool stuff that I've got planned for the castle. But thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe down below. Hit that comment section up. Let me know what you think. Come back and always chill on Wednesdays with me on the live stream when I build. Then look forward to the videos on Mondays and Saturdays. Peace.